Sup, y'all. Bring you guys another video. So, did you guys know that uh, Chris Algieri recently fought against Mikel Lespierre or Lepierre? Uh, I apologize if I'm mispronouncing his name, but yeah, they he they recently fought over in New York in the undercard of the Michael Hunter fight, uh, which was shown live on Fight TV. Actually, you can go to Fight TV right now, which is what you guys are looking at. Go to boxing. Go to replays. And you can watch the replay for free. You can watch it for free all five hours. You can watch it for free. Uh, you just you can you can watch the whole entire event if you want, or you can skip to the event. Where is it? All right, I can't find it. Okay, so this is the oh, there it is. So it's in the beginning. I was like wondering why is it five hours? Like, I guess the so it's in the beginning of uh, the video. So that's how you can watch it if you want. Um, I honestly haven't seen the whole full fight. Uh, I was at work last night, and honestly, I'm, I feel tired. I just got home from work, and uh, I've seen clips of it here and there, or I've seen a little bit of it here and there, and uh, it looked like it was a pretty dominant win from Chris Algieri. Um and the judges had him winning pretty wide. He went the distance, he went the whole 10 rounds, and Algeria won by unanimous decision with two judges giving him every single round, 100 to 90, and one judge scoring it 99-91. And, uh, and yeah, Chris Algeria improves to 25-3. and three. Nine wins come by way of Nakar TK Anon. This will be his uh, fourth win in a row since losing to Errol Spence Jr. back in 2016. He defeated Tommy Coyle back in 2019. And uh, yeah, it's been more than almost two, more than two years since he last fought, and uh, he was able to go out there and uh, give Les Pierre or Le Pierre his uh, third loss in his professional career, losing three out of his last four fights. Maybe it's time to retire for for Le Pierre. But as for Chris Algieri, there's uh, you know options out there for Chris Algieri, and you guys believe he's already 37 years old. I'm gonna be honest, man, he doesn't look 37, but he is already 37 years old. He's up there in age. But uh, I think he can still give some young fighters out there a good fight. And at 140 pounds, him versus Gervonta Davis, I think would make for a pretty entertaining fight. I mean, if you look at 140 right now, 147, I think he should avoid 147. I feel like 147 will be a little bit too much for him. Um, all of these guys at 147, at least the top guys would beat him easily. But at 140, we obviously we have Josh Taylor being the undisputed champion of the world. I think Josh Taylor would be too much for him. But he's a good test for Gervonta Davis. I think uh, Gervonta Davis versus uh, Chris Algieri would make for a pretty interesting clash of styles. So if I had to choose his next opponent, Gervonta Davis is a good one, in my opinion. But uh, we shall see. We shall wait and see to see what happens for Chris Algieri. I mean, he's doing a pretty good job commentating. If you guys don't know, um, he he commentates. There are times where he commentates for top rank. Uh, he commentates for, for the zone, I believe, at one point for a little bit. Um, you know, he, he does a pretty good job commentating. But I think right now, he mainly commentates for top rank. Uh, not as the main broadcast, you know, like with ESPN. But when top rank with uh, Christina Pont uh, Pontier, I believe. I believe they, they work together. And I think they're a team uh, whenever they do commentating for fights. So, anyway... Let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts about Chris Algieri's return after more than two years of not fighting. Do you guys think he should continue fighting or focus on other things? I mean, it seems like he's doing pretty well without boxing. Um, you know, he's a pretty good nutritionist, if I remember correctly. Daniel Jacobs hired him to be his nutritionist. So, let me anyway. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.